Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I just have to tell you guys, I can barely contain my excitement for this video. I am just like so giddy about this mod because I think it's like the coolest thing ever. You can already tell what it is by the title of this video, but man, I install so, so many Tacoma products as you probably know if you've watched this channel before. And I'm just constantly impressed by some of these products that people come up with for the Toyota Tacoma. I mean, to name a few, the seat jackers, such a small thing to improve your seating angle and comfort when you're driving, screen protect, which gets rid of all the swirl marks in your instrument cluster, plug and play footwell lights from VLED that automatically turn on when you open your door, billet tie downs for the rails in the bed of your Tacoma. You guys, I could go on and on, but I just wanna say this modification I'm going to show you today, the TRD Pro Stealth Shift Knob by Miso Customs is another one to add to that list. Now at first glance, this Tacoma modification might not look like much. In fact, this Tacoma's interior looks really, really similar to how it was before I did this modification. But the shift knob was modified ever so slightly by Miso Customs to allow you to control two different accessories because there's two hidden switches on this thing. So now not only does this shift knob act as a shift knob, of course, still, but now it's also got an extra set of controls. So I'm going to show you that in more detail in this video. Real quick though, I want to make a small announcement to let you guys know that I finally have merch. Over the past two and a half years, I've been making these YouTube videos, mostly about the Toyota Tacoma, of course. I have been so, so fortunate to connect with a bunch of you guys, which honestly, by the way, is the reason I love making these YouTube videos. I mean, the Toyota Tacoma community is just amazing. This channel is really my passion project and it's just for fun fun and really you guys keep me going but without getting too much off on a tangent I've had a lot of you guys request merch for quite some time and since I didn't really know what to do I decided to start small and just start out with stickers so I work with this really amazing artist for a while he's Apoc Designs on Instagram his work is just phenomenal and he came up with these sticker designs that I am absolutely so so proud of and so so in love with so if you want to grab one I'll have a link in my description down below but now let's get into the fun stuff the TRD Pro Stealth Shift Knob Okay, so this is it you guys and basically all this modification gives you is a brand new shift knob in the TRD Pro style that's got two switches, one on each side to activate whatever you want. So here's one switch in red on the left side and then there's another here on the right side. Now to do a little demonstration and you might be wondering what I have these buttons wired up to, well, I've got to turn on the truck to show you. Now, if you're familiar with what this button does, this button that says ECT power, I have basically rewired it so that ECT power is activated when you hit this left switch. So you can see on the dash, ECT power coming on and off. And all I'm doing is activating this button on the left side of the shift knob. So by the way, if you don't know what ECT power is, for a while it was actually a mystery button for me. But basically what ECT stands for, I believe is electronically controlled transmission. And when you hit this button, or now I guess in my case, hit this left switch, it actually changes the shifting points in your truck. Here's a snippet from the manual on more information about the ECT button. When you have it on, the transmission holds shift points longer and will reach higher RPM levels before shifting. I myself notice a little bit of a difference when driving with ECT power on. Nothing extreme, but it does reduce gear hunting a little bit. It could be all placebo, and there's plenty of videos here on YouTube talking about and giving reviews on using this button. But whether ECT power works or not is not really the point of this video. I just wanted to show you that one of the switches can activate ECT on or off. 
So now you might be wondering what the other switch on this side is connected to. And to be fully honest, I don't have it hooked up to anything right now. I'm thinking about using this switch to activate a light bar perhaps. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see this second switch do and what you want a follow up video on. By the way, I did want to mention if you guys are going to use either of these switches to activate different accessories, make sure you're using a relay because you don't want to put more than an amp through here. I'm not going to be showing that in this video, but just FYI. I am going to show you how to wire up one of the switches to activate ECT power like I just showed you. And that's because this kit comes with the wiring harness to do so. So I'm not 100% sure of this, but I believe the way Miso Customs makes this shift knob is they actually start out with a real TRD Pro shift knob. So this is a real TRD Pro shift knob. In fact, it's the exact one that came off of this truck. And you could see before the red accents on the side were just for style. I think all Miso does is they take out the red accents on the side and add their own switches with wires coming out, of course. That and also small little detail right here. Instead of the TRD letters in the center, the center has the Miso Customs logo. Miso did a great job, in my opinion, when they were designing and actually creating these two side switches over here. One thing I was a little bit concerned about was how easy these switches would be to activate. And if you're just resting your hand on the shift knob, it's not very easy to activate the switches. So that's good since it'll prevent any accidental activation of whatever you have wired up here if you like to drive with your hand on the shift knob, which I know a lot of people like to do, especially when they're going into S mode. But at the same time, these switches are very easy to activate. They don't take a hard push at all. They're nice and clicky so you can really feel and hear when you're activating them and you can give them a nice press on the side or kind of come from the top and push them down as well to activate them. So speaking of the kit, I'll do an unboxing of it before I do the install, which is what I do in most of my videos. You guys can see exactly what comes in the box. But before I bought this modification, I was a little confused if it came with the shift knob or I would be taking apart my existing shift knob to modify it in this way. And also if this was all plug and play or I was going to have to do any sort of wiring myself. How difficult was this to install? So first off, this kit I bought is a complete replacement, fully assembled with the switches and everything, new TRD Pro shift knob. So you're gonna end up with your old shift knob. So I really like that it comes all assembled, except there is an option to do either red buttons on the side or black buttons. And by default, at least for my kit, it came with the red buttons in on the side. But I think if you wanted to switch those with the black switches, you would have to take apart the shift knob. But it's nice and easy if you keep the red switches in. And I personally really like the red switches because it matches along with the TRD red theme. And then basically it's 100% plug and play. So there's no splicing of wires you have to do unless you're doing your own custom accessory. But if you're just doing the ECT power mod like I did, 100% plug and play. I based my install on the Miso Customs installation video and in there, they actually did a little bit of drilling. That was because towards the end of the install, there's not a lot of clearance to fit these two little plugs through. However, I found that I didn't have to do that, which was a bonus. Overall, the install is really simple. It will take you under an hour to do. There are a couple tricky parts, but I tried to cover that during the installation part of my video. So hopefully if you decide to follow along, those little tips will help. There's not too much else to say about the shift knob. It's pretty simple, but again, you can probably tell by my excitement. I think this is so, so cool. I can't believe Miso Customs can come up with stuff like this. Anyways, let's get into the unboxing and install right now. So this is the Miso Customs Pro Stealth Shift Knob. I'm really excited for this one, and I'm also really happy I was able to get my hands on one of these because 
Really, I love, love, love Miso Custom products. However, my only real issue is that sometimes it can be hard to get your hands on Miso products because they're so, so popular. They seem to make their products in small quantities and boutique batches. I could totally be wrong. But last I checked, this kit was available on their website, which I'll have linked down below, of course. If they're sold out on the Miso website though, other resellers like Tacoma Beast also carry Miso stuff. So that's another avenue I've taken before. But anyways, what's inside? This nice little graphic actually shows us everything that's inside plus what each component does. And we also have an install guide. So of course the biggest thing that this kit comes with is the actual TRD Pro shift knob itself. It looks like the red side buttons are pre-installed for us, but there are also a set of black ones that we can swap out if we want. Other than that, this is pretty identical to the regular TRD Pro shift knob. We've got leather with red stitching. Besides the black buttons, the only other thing that comes in the kit is our wiring harness. So this connector right here is for the ECT button. And then for this end, you can actually use the other button to connect to an auxiliary trigger. Okay, so to start off this install, first pull the shift knob boot down, then unscrew your OEM shift knob. Next, I'm loosening up the center console trim since we'll need to access wiring underneath here, although we don't need to take it off all the way. So for me, the easiest way to loosen up this piece was by grabbing it right here since you have a little bit of leverage and just pulling up and then grabbing it from either side. I picked this side, but really you would just wedge your fingers under there and pull up and that allows you to essentially remove this piece. Now I'm taking off the radio surround, which you can just do by prying on the sides with your hand gently. And I'm loosening the bottom two 10 millimeter bolts holding in the OEM radio. So you want to loosen up the radio because you want to be able to make clearance for this tab over here. Now we're not quite done with removing plastic trim pieces, so pop off the steering wheel trim just on the right side, and this is so you can pry at this climate control trim piece. Once that's removed, unplug the three wiring harnesses from it for easier access to the ECT button, which you're going to push out from the inside to the outside. Then unplug the button from the harness. Now take your long wiring harness from the MISO kit and plug the gray connector into the factory ECT harness. Now basically with this long wiring harness, what we want to do is we want to route it back there so that it'll come back around and underneath and to this area over here because this is obviously where we're going to be plugging into. So in order to do that, it was kind of hard for me to figure out where exactly to route this, but I found if you take this end and route it behind this bundle of wires here, and if you go in with your hand, you'll be able to feel a little bit of a hole down here. So it's a little difficult to show you, but I'll do my best. And the idea is since this center piece is already loosened up, we can Stick our hand underneath there. We can feel around for the end of it. This takes a little time, but eventually you'll find it and this is exactly where you want it to be. Oh, and just so we didn't lose the button and since I don't have a blank, I just put the existing ECT button back in. Obviously the button's non-functional though. Okay, so this is really, really obvious, but I'm just gonna say it in case because this can kind of ruin your install. So. Basically, you wanna make sure that these wires are out of the way when you're twisting this shift knob down. They are pretty thin and thus easy to break, so you don't want them to get caught on something as you're spinning this thing around. And this also means that the next step I'm about to show you, which is actually routing these wires down underneath in this boot, is not something you wanna do until this is screwed down all the way. And yes, it's gonna make it more difficult because there's gonna be less room as we're putting the shift knob down all the way, but you don't want these wires tangled up and you don't want them to get snagged. 
So I recommend putting your finger underneath them like this and then holding them up so they're completely out of the way as you're screwing this thing down. Now make sure you tighten it down to your desire because we're not going to want to tighten this down anymore once we route these wires through underneath the boot. So now I'm running the switch wires through the boot. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a small hole I was able to fit both wires through as long as I went one at a time. And I used a screwdriver to help guide the ends of the harnesses through. Now this isn't the easiest, so I think if you have a lot of trouble, you can watch the MISO video and drill a larger hole. I just took my time and spent a few minutes and was able to get both through. Now for the ECT control, plug whichever switch wire you want, left or right, into the black and red wires on the MISO harness. Then you can plug in the other switch wire into the yellow and white wires on the MISO harness for whatever other accessory you are or are planning to do. Then you literally put everything back together. So reconnect harnesses where needed and just snap all of those plastic pieces back into place. Okay, so here's the new shift knob all installed, buttons and everything. So how do we test this? Basically turn the truck on, put it in ignition on. So two taps. And when we hit this left button here, hopefully we'll see ECT power on. And there we go. So I'll do my best to get both in frame. So that's it, pretty easy. So that is really all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This truly really was a fun modification to do. And I've got to bet that there's at least someone out there who is watching this video right now that has this modification in their truck too. Now, if that's you, I'd like you, if you want to leave a comment down below to let us know if the way I'm talking about this mod makes it live up to its hype. Again, I just think it's truly amazing that someone came up with extra functionality for the TRD Pro shift knob. And not only that, they executed and it came out really, really well. It looks great and it's nice and easy to use. So that's it. Again, check out the link in my description if you're interested in picking up any stickers from me. Otherwise, if you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there. But other than that, thank you so, so much again for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.